guys and welcome back to the channel for another Project Zomboid video. Now in this one I'm going to give you all a rundown of the foraging feature. It's not going to be a long video I'm sure but I've had quite a few questions about it since it had a rework and I wanted to highlight some of the items you can find and how useful this survival skill can be now that it's been changed. If you find the video useful be sure to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Project Zomboid tips, guides and gameplay. So previously in Project Zomboid foraging Foraging was a simple right click activity that just required you to spend some time foraging in a woodland or grassland area. We just watched a loading bar and hoped for the best, with the results being dependent on skill level. Now though, foraging is much more involved and has an actual investigation process that means we need to search an area actively and move around to find what we're looking for. A lot of players simply haven't delved into this skill since its recent change, but I'm here to cover why it's actually worth your time. Now the first thing to understand with regards to foraging is the different areas that you can forage in and which ones net you the best results for certain types of items. To start foraging, click on the magnifying glass on the left side of your screen. A small box labelled investigate area will appear. If you hover over this box it will tell you which area type you are currently in. Now you want to keep track of this whilst foraging because it will tell you how common certain types of item are in the current zone you are in. For example, foraging in an area of vegetation, which is pretty much any grassy area has common loot rarity assigned to materials, animals and food, whereas medicinal plants and other types of items are rare. Simply walk around and wait for an eye to pop up above your character and at that point it's like a game of hot or cold. You'll want to walk around until the eye becomes clearer and eventually reveals the item that you're looking for. Right click the items pop up and you'll have it in your inventory in no time. Each item you find will give you a small amount of XP with every find, regardless of what it is, but rarer items will give you slightly more XP as a reward. When it comes to levels and how they affect your foraging, right now that basically comes down to how likely you are to find items. The items will always be there in the environment around you, but the higher level you are, the more likely you are to spot those items and identify that they have a use to you, revealing them to you as part of the investigation feature. You'll also spot items from farther away, which is a hell of a buff when you're out searching, believe me. I've done some testing at lower levels versus maxed out foraging and the difference is very noticeable to say the least. If you're after materials for building your own weapons and tools like spears or stone hammers, you should be foraging in either forests or on roads, both of which have materials set to abundant. In forests, you're more likely to find things like twigs, sticks, that sort of thing. And on roads, it's more likely to be stones or chip stones. If it's food you're looking for, I'd recommend farmland, vegetation or trailer park areas. All of these three areas have have food and animals set to common, giving you the best chance to finding things like squirrels, berry bushes, wild cabbages or wild eggs amongst various other items. Urban areas and roads are also worth investigating for random items that are placed under the other category. Now from my searching so far this has included simple items like plates, glasses or corkscrews, but after a quick chat with Eris, the developer behind the foraging feature, I did get a nudge that there might be some cooler items on offer for people that are willing to persevere with foraging for quite a while. So let me know what you find in the comments if you've been out there looking yourself and you found something cool. Now when it comes to medicinal plants these are always going to be rare at best but I did find out something quite interesting whilst I was having my chat with Eris. Essentially weather conditions can affect natural items that you can find whilst foraging and in this instance in particular you're more likely to find medicinal plants when it's raining especially in forest and vegetation areas. Honestly I love this little tweak to the system and I definitely had no idea it was even a thing, so hopefully this helps a few of you guys too. Lastly, Eris did also mention that the rates for medicinal plants is under review right now, so we could expect this to change in the future. So that's it from me in this one, hopefully this clears up the feature a little bit more and will help you assess whether or not foraging is something that you'd like to pursue in your next playthrough. If you've got any questions you want to ask me live, you can catch me over on twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Atomic Duck to see some live gameplay and interact with me in real time. Special thank you to all of my patrons for supporting the channel and grabbing themselves a whitelist for our Project Zomboid Patreon server, which now has mods too. Link in the description if you're interested. Thanks again, and I will see you all in the next one.